So over the last 10 years, I have been following up with leads. I've been doing it since my health and fitness business. I would have to follow up with new leads to help them get in shape. Then when I started my online business, I would have to follow up with people to remind them about me to come back. People get busy or they're just not ready to buy today, but they might be ready to buy tomorrow, next week, next month. And I've even had clients sign up three years after reaching out the first time. Hey there, my name's Brad Smith, owner of Automation Links. And today I'm gonna give you my five steps to follow up with new leads. All right, tip number one, I think is the most obvious, email. But you wanna make these super personal. Email is about building a relationship, making sure you stay at the top of the inbox, making it all about them, providing education, providing value, making it easy for them to schedule, sending abandoned cart emails, and just making sure that they don't forget about you. Now, what you don't want to do is send numerous sales emails over and over because that it's making it all about you. So my tip for you today is to make it personal and make it all about relief. What is something that may benefit them and that they will think is valuable in the long run? Some other things I do is I always write it from my Gmail account and then I plug it into my email marketing software high level. That way it looks like a personal note from me. And if you've ever got any of my newsletters, you'll see that they are personal. They are plain text and there's no images. There's no distractions. And it's all about providing value. If you haven't signed up for my newsletter yet, go ahead and sign up. I'll post the link below. Tip number two, this is my favorite social media. This is one that a lot of people forget on social media. After a lead comes into your business, you can go follow up with them by connecting with them, by following them. And then you can start leaving comments. You can start providing value. Now, engagement is value because it helps the algorithm. So if you reach out to me and you start liking and commenting on my post, it's providing value, but it's also keeping you top of mind. In fact, this is how I got my YouTube thumbnail editor. What he did was he first followed me, then he emailed me, and then he started liking my posts and leaving comments. And then finally we chatted in DMs, built a relationship. He gave me some free thumbnails and then I finally hired him. So that's what I want you to do. Use social media as your follow-up technique. Tip number three, SMS slash text messages. Now you don't want to be over the top about these. If you're an e-commerce business, you can send really cool and fun abandoned cart texts. Like, hey, where'd you go? One of my favorite brands sends me text messages for sunglasses and they make it fun. They make it exciting. They add jokes in there. They make it cool. If you're a B2B type of business or B2C and you want to build relationships with people through text. Do this before and after your scheduled calls. So send them a quick text before the call, reminding them of the call. Send them a quick text after thanking them for the call. But now they have your number. So if they have any other questions, they can shoot you a quick text back. You want to show empathy for your leads. So they want to respond back to you. Tip number four, I'm doing it right now, video. So if somebody watches one of your YouTube videos or any video on Facebook, Instagram, or any other platform out there, the algorithms will suggest your other videos in the future. So you might watch this video on YouTube and then next time you log into YouTube, the algorithm will show one of my next YouTube videos to you. So that way I stay top of mind. I'm also trying to provide value and help you and educate and give you things that you could go copy and paste into your business. And that makes us build a better relationship together. So I want you to create videos where you're educating, providing value, and then get people to watch them on your favorite platforms where you you're the most consistent, then the algorithms will start showing your other videos to them, which is the most important. You're going to stay top of mind, even if they don't watch those videos. And tip number five, which is my new favorite, because with the new AI softwares out there, it's really low cost to retarget. And retargeting ads are one of the best ways to remind people of you. And that's where you can actually ask for the sale. Now, the four things I mentioned before, email, social media, text, and video, those are all supposed to provide value to your leads, educate them, and build that relationship with them. But retargeting ads, you can make sure you show to them to ask for the sale. So now they've seen you a few times, they've watched your videos, and now you can show them images or videos of your actual service or your product or your business and say, click the link to actually take an action. That's where you're going to make the most sales. Now, before you used to, have to spend a ton of money to set up these retargeting channels, but we are getting pennies per click because you're retargeting with a warm audience instead of going out and grabbing a cold audience and bringing them in. 
So we do this on Google, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, where we can retarget for less than $500 a month, build better relationships, and follow up with all of our leads. So I want you to try it out. Go to our website, join my newsletter, where I send you free tips every week, every Sunday at five. And then you should see my retargeting ads on all the different platforms. And then you can see, hey, let me steal that. Let me start doing that for my business. Thanks again for watching. And if you're new to my channel, it'd be awesome if you commented new so I can send you my free follow-up blueprint. I will see you on the next video.